Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy and I am here today with the Creating Kindness design team and this month we are focusing on our theme is Because We Care. So the card that I have created today is a spinner card and I am going to be donating this along with other cards that I've created throughout the fall to a uh, a local uh, center here in town called the Women's Rural Resource Center that helps women in need, women and children. So as you can see, this is a spinner card. When you open it, it's the little lion spins around. He is attached with some fishing line that I scooped from my husband's uh, tackle box. So to make it spin, all you do is twist it around when you put it in your envelope and then when the recipient opens it up your little lion spins around. So the stamp set that I am using is, sorry about the glare there, a little wild. So the card that I just showed is uh, uses this little lion. Uh, the card I'm going to create with you today I'm going to use the elephant and I also have used the uh, 3D dynamic uh, impressions folder, layered leaves, I believe it's called. And then of course my layering circles framelits dies. I absolutely love all of my layering dies, my circles and my ovals and uh, my squares. I use them a ton. So I have gone ahead and die cut out my card front and my base. I did this by layering them on top of each other and putting my circle die on and running it through the big shot. And then afterwards, I took my lemon lime twist uh, card front and put it through the big shot with my um, textured impressions embossing folder. So to get started, the A Little Wild bundle comes with framelits that die cuts out your front and your back of your adorable little animals. So I am just going to take my paper snips and cut these guys apart and because it's not going to be a tag I'm going to cut that little tag part off just like that there's his little bum and do the same for the ear Okay, so then I'm going to bring in my silicone mat and lay my little elephant down and if I can pick this up, I've got just a length of the uh, fishing line and I am going to lay it down in the center. And take some tear and tape now the colors I used for my elephant here I used my Stampin blends I used the ivory for his ears on the inside flap and then I used the light and dark smoky slate and then I blended out, I covered the ivory right up so that you couldn't even see it, but I wanted to give it a slightly different look in the color. So I'm just taking my fingernail and I'm really pressing down hard along that fishing line there to make sure that it is quite secure. And then I'm going to take some of my 
liquid glue because I want to make darn sure that this little guy does not come apart. So I'm going around the edges. And then I'm going to peel my tape off. And then stick the back side onto the front of my elephant. And really press to make sure that it is adhered well. And then once you've done that, I can see that there is just a little bit of a, just a titch of the thick whisper white cardstock there. So I just took my paper snips and trimmed that off. So there you go. That is the first part. So then you're going to take your card base, which is Thick Whisper White. Now all the measurements are going to be on my blog for you to uh, pop on over to take a look and read and that way you can recreate this at home. So I'm taking some more tear and tape. I'm centering my elephant and putting a piece of tear and tape right there and another one right above like that and being sure to really press down well and then I'm taking and pulling as tight as possible using my thumb to secure it and putting another piece there and just because I like to be extra sure that this is not going anywhere again I am using my fingernails to really press down well to make sure that it is not going to move and now you can see there is just a little tag right there, extra piece that has come over the end of the cardstock. So you just snip that off. And the same with the bottom, just snip that off. So then I'm going to take my embossed card front here and put some glue all around the outside and the circle, the cutout circle here. And then right there. And then I'm going to remove the backing from my tear and tape. Oops, sorry, I just hit the camera. Don't want to get you seasick there. Okay, so then you just take this and line it up and stick it down, being sure to really press to make sure that glue adheres. And then I have die cut some Island Indigo. So I'm going to go around the outside here just a little bit. And stick that to finish that off. Isn't he so cute? Okay, so my inside, because I want the inside to be pretty as well, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay. 
Okay. And then I have one more little elephant here that I have colored and die cut out to decorate the inside. Now I'm not going to put a sentiment on because I'm not sure what they will use the card for. So if I leave it blank on the inside, they can tailor it to whatever they need. A young child's birthday, a baby, um, whatever they want. So again, to make this spin, you just take and twist it as much as you want. Get it nice and uh, taut there. Close it in and then put it in your envelope and then when the recipient opens it up, it spins around. Isn't that so adorable? So there's my two cards. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, all of the supplies can be purchased in my online store. If you don't have a demonstrator and you live in Canada, I would love to be your demonstrator. Please check below for the other uh, team members who are participating in this blog hop and video hop and uh, watch along with all of our different videos and read our blogs. Give us a thumbs up, comment on our blogs. We truly appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for uh, pressing play on the video today and we'll see you again. Bye.